it should be pretty wide on the breast. So if it's narrow and the baby's on the nipple, then you know that the latch is, and it's painful, then you know the latch isn't deep enough. So Hi, my name is Noreen Carver and I'm one of the lactation consultants here at Tucson Medical Center. Congratulations on the birth of your baby. I'm going to talk about uh, what a good latch is. So you might hear that a lot in the hospital um, and it might be a little confusing. Uh, so basically what you're looking for in a, a latch or attachment to the breast is that the baby's on deeply and that it's not painful. Um, so you want that baby, your baby to be not just on the nipple, but on the fuller part of the breast, the areola. And some things that we look for in a good attachment at the breast is that the baby's chin is deep in the mom's breast and the baby's kind of angled like this at the breast, okay? We're gonna attach a video here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so that's one part of a, a, a deep latch. You want the baby's gape to her mouth or his mouth, and I mean by gape meaning how they're opening and closing their mouth, it should be pretty wide on the breast. So if it's narrow and the baby's on the nipple, then you know that the latch is, and it's painful, then you know the latch isn't deep enough. So work on that latch. And sometimes it can take a couple days up to a week to really achieve that deep latch. And you might have two feeds that the baby gets a deep latch and then the next feed a shallow latch. And you start to feel what that deep latch feels like and then try to improve on that. And hopefully the video below will help you do that. Ha, 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 ha.